guys. So, I've already done a time lapse on this background that you can see currently. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you me doing an anim how I'm going to animate it and kind of like a walkthrough of it. It's pretty basic. I'm going to have it go from day to night. So, it's not really that hard. So, I've got all my stuff here, I've got my light here. So, what what you if you want to do this yourself with your own wallpaper if it's nighttime or daytime I recommend using light like I have here but do not have the light on the illumination if you've got physical sky so to make the sun move into a certain position of the day click this button here which is keyframing so you save the keyframe there go to where you want it come out your camera otherwise it will affect your camera as well at the same time and what you want to do, you want to be able to move the light down and across to where you want the light to be, like that. So then I go into camera view and I bring it down like that so you can't see it. So then what it will look like is if it renders, the, the sun itself won't show then. But it will move across the sky so then you'll be able to see where it is what it does so that's just the sun which is weird so now that's done keyframe it as you see there it moves and you can see the light catching on the uh, the ocean so now I've done that I'm gonna to want to go to physical sky turn off keyframing I want to go time and location. So now, this is going to be the hard part. You want to hold control, click that. That keyframes it. Then move it to the time that you want it to be. So I'm going to want to put it night time like that. So let's put it at 8 o'clock. Run the. Ah, oh, I messed up there. Um, let's put it back to 8 o'clock. in there so what it will look like is that but what I've got to say is save the keyframe there so before you do anything you save the keyframe at naught at daytime so whatever time you want and change it to night time like that at the keyframe you want then hit control again and then click that so then what it does is that it changes it from day to night or at least it should like so so then what it does it changes the time of day as well as moving the light as well as changing the light the suit as you see like that so now what I'm going to want to do is go back into the light visibility no lens so you got the brightness so you do the same here click keyframe no you don't need to with this one control click your brightness is there then by 90 it would have dropped down to about 5 hit brightness so when it's about here, rendering the keyframe, the sun shouldn't be too bright at this point. So if I render it all in, you'll see what I mean. It should be pretty nice. It should fit with everything. So hopefully this works. And then I just gotta get the water to move as well to it, which is gonna be pretty easy to do. The water animation, I'll show you what I used for the water. So there we go. That's done. The water, I use something called Hot 4D. It's easy to get, easy to install. It's a standard plugin, so you don't need to worry about that. So the same thing with this. Shift, click, um, not shift, click, control, click. Go all the way to 90. What I recommend for this, you do 20, and then you hit the keyframe again, like that. So if you look carefully at the, oh, poop. No, I screwed up there. 90 
20, hit keyframe. So now, yeah, it'll be bugging me trying to change the keyframe because of how good quality it is. Now the water will move. As you just said, if I skip to there, the water moves. So now that's done. I'm going, I think. So we've got that physical sky. I'm going to want to add. So if I go sky, I think it's in sky. I forgot where it is now. Um, but there's an area you want to turn your um, stars and stuff on. Uh, here, so show stars, show planet, show moon, merge sky and sun. You can add in your own custom moon. You just edit your stars in here. So you can show constellations. You don't want to do that because it looks really weird. Min, man, magnitude, brighten stars, star radius. I'm going to brighten mine up to about 30. Stay like that all the way through. So that's that and what you want to do is then save it as an AVA file, AVI file there so it's all like that make sure it's in about 1920 by 1080p because it comes out in really nice quality change it to the amount of frames it is so that's 90 the frame rate so if you have 30 that's one second so each set, so if you have 25, that's one second, 10 is one second. But the more frames you have, the smoother it is. So if it's 30 frames per second, it's really smooth, but it takes a while to render. So 30 frames is perfect for what you're doing. So if it's only a 90 frame video, then it will only be 30, not 30 seconds, 3 seconds long. But that's all I want for this. So now you've done all that, you're done. Actually, I might change mine to 15 due to the, how it is. So every 15 second, every 15 frames is a second. So this is going to be a six, six second long video that I'm rendering currently. Well, I'm not currently rendering it, but the rest of it is pretty easy to do. The to to get this working, you just have one plane, or you can make your own plane set. So what I've done is I've got four planes put them together so it's about 8,000 centimeters by 8,000 centimeters and then I went and got went plugins hot 4d drag, uh, clicked it and it goes there and what you do you drag drop hot 4d into planes 4 and it as you saw it just edited that but I don't want that in and then you just go into hot 4d you can edit your wind direction the lower the wind I think it's the higher the waves go for some reason so I recommend about 20 if you're going to have something this size. Seed, obviously that just changes what it looks like. Wave height and stuff like that. that obviously it says what it is. And then time, you've seen what it does. It just moves the water. Ocean depth, don't really worry about that. Just leave it how it is. And that's really it for that. And that's how you animate a sky. This is kind of also my first time and it's, I've done stuff like this before. What you can also do, just to make it look more realistic, if you're doing oceans, go Cinema 4D tags on the camera. So right click the camera, hover over Cinema 4D tags, come down, click Vibrate. And then for this, you don't want much shake, so you're going to want to go one, one, and those. So that's all you do with that. And you change this to one, this to one, and this to two. And same with this, one, one. With this one you can go between two and three I'm gonna go with two and change your camera angle to suit so like that and then what it does all the way through the video it will shake the camera will also sh uh, like move with the waves but very smoothly so stick with that and then render your video and then when it's done it's done and you know you watch it if you don't like it keep the cinema 4d open just in case you don't like it so you can change it to suit so i hope this was helpful for you guys go like share and subscribe and thanks for watching